Sid, what's your take? You've been following the political, the existing political campaign quite a lot, and I've heard you listening to radio interviews and all sorts of things and following this discussion closely. What's your opinion of the current um, agendas with regards to, regards to the existing the ANC and the DA and the, and the bigger parties um, versus what Ubuntu is offering? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it as different as what it seemed to be, as Ubuntu is really coming at, at, at hugely from left field? Or is there a change within the existing party structure? Well, Scott, no, look, every other political organization in this country is following the, just a small variance on the same on the same model as the ANC and the DA. Um, I think the reason why I got involved with the Ubuntu Party is because people don't actually look around them and see what's going on in the world today. Um, for instance, the United Nations was set up in 1945 in order to prevent wars. Yet, 194 wars have been fought, and yeah. we're not even talking about the other 3,000 skirmishes yeah. um, since that time up to 2007. Uh, we, we have a look at um, the, a third of the world's food just gets thrown away, yet there are a billion people starving, either starving or they are undernourished. Also known as malnutrition, so they are still dying of something. Uh, we can we, we look at we look at the situation in our country. We, we we drive past these townships where people are living in squatter camps. We come across more and more people dying of disease, cancers and other things, and money doesn't even influence that anymore. Whether the people are rich or poor, so the quality of our food has been degraded. They are feeding as of about four years ago, our agricultural union introduced 232 chemical fertilizer as a feed for cattle in winter so that they would actually graze long grass because it stimulates the enzymes in the stomach and, and, and allows them to eat that. So the, the food that we are eating is poisoning us. Um, Organizations like the United Nations have never stopped a war. In fact, they've just, the partner countries to the United Nations have been involved in all of these wars. We've got 8, bil 8 million children a year in the world that go missing, and they, these situations aren't even investigated anymore. Yeah, well, I mean, if you so, look at it in this country, you, you, we have a national credit regulator who's supposed to regulate credit, yeah. but we're in the worst situation with people so debt slaved right now, they can't even feed themselves. And people believe in democracy? I mean, can they not see what's going on around them in the world? So, so you just, know, what I'd like to do here is, while Sid is talking about the, you know, the dark stuff, just want to bring it back onto the light side, because I, I'd really, <laughs> I, I think it's important that the Ubuntu party spreads the good news and brings the, the, the positive news to the people and remind people that the, that the country belongs to its people, it does not belong to the government. And once again, people forget that. People forget that we elect our government to be our servants. And if the servants are not serving us, then we should do something about it. We need to replace them and put different people in there that are doing for the people, for us, what we want as the people. It's a very simple system, isn't it? So... We need to re-establish this balance and the status quo.